Given the ever-increasing risk of cyber attacks, the European Union has decided to strengthen the requirements surrounding the IT security of financial entities. The Digital Operational Resilience Act, DORA, and the Market in Crypto Assets Regulation, MICA, are part of the digital finance package adopted in 2020 by the European Commission to further enable and support the potential of digital finance in terms of innovation and competition while mitigating the risks arising from it. To ensure consistency around the ICT risk management requirements applicable to the financial sector, DORA will apply to a range of financial entities regulated at union level including credit institutions, payment institutions, electronic money institutions, investment firms, managers of alternative investment funds and management companies, insurance and reinsurance undertakings, and intermediaries. DORA also applies to ICT third-party service providers, providing digital and data services, including providers of cloud computing services, software, data analytics services, data centers, but excluding providers of hardware components and other takings authorized under union law, which provide electronic communication services. For financial entities, DORA will significantly expand existing requirements around ICT risk management with the obligation to ensure an effective and prudent management of all ICT risks. In particular, financial entities will have to put in place an ICT-related incident management process in order to monitor and log ICT-related incidents, followed by an obligation to classify them based on specific criteria. The management body will bear the financial responsibility for managing the financial entity's ICT risks. When the ICT-related incidents are the major, they will have to be reported to the competent authorities following an harmonized procedure. Financial entities will also have to test their capabilities and functions periodically for preparedness and identifications of weaknesses, deficiencies or gaps as well as a prompt implementation of corrective measures. The regulation is designed to ensure a sound monitoring of ICT third-party risks and harmonizes key elements of the service and relationship with third-party providers. In particular, the contract that govern the relationship between ICT service providers and financial entities will be required to include certain contractual provisions similar to those already required under the EBA guidelines on outsourcing arrangements. The proposal also introduced an oversight framework for critical ICT third-party providers, which will be designated by the European supervisory authorities. When such providers are located in third countries and provide critical services, they will be required to establish a subsidiary within the EU to be used by financial entities so that oversight can be properly implemented. In May 2022, the Council Presidency and the European Parliament reached a provisional agreement on DORA, which is now subject to approval by the Council and the European Parliament, before going through the formal adoption procedure. Once DORA is adopted and passed into law by EU Member States, the designated European Supervisory Authorities will develop technical standards for financial entities to comply with whilst national competent authorities will oversee compliance and enforce the regulation as required. It is expected that the new rules will apply 24 months after they enter into force.